All right, just wanted to do another video showing you some more evidence against the uh, false doctrine, and I would dare say heresy, of sinless perfectionism. And that sinless perfectionism is a lie from Satan. So I'm going to show you that from the Word of God, that sinless perfectionism is not possible in this current corruptible body of flesh that we have. I'm going to show you a scripture showing that the body of flesh is corrupt and will not be redeemed until the rapture, the resurrection of the dead and the living, as it's properly called, or the blessed hope, catching away, whatever you want to call it. Rapture is not really a scriptural term. But I'm going to show you the word from the Word of God that right now our bodies are corrupt and wicked and will not be redeemed until the resurrection. So it is not possible to be 100% sinless in this life right now. And anyone who says they are sinless are liars and they're false teachers. And they're self-righteous too if they think that way. So first, turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 42 to 44. So also is the corruption of, or sorry, also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, and it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is, it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. So during the resurrection of the dead, you know the reason why humans die of physical death is because our bodies are wicked. Our bodies are, are corruptible and sinful. That's the whole reason why humans even experience physical death. But what happens at the resurrection of the dead? Sown in corruption, raised in incorruption. Sown in dishonor, raised in glory. Sown in weakness, raised in power. You know, it has a natural body, it becomes a spiritual body. It's that simple. Next scripture you want to go to, turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 to 54. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we should all be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality uh, for when this corruption shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought the saying that brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory okay Again, repeating you know, what's said in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 42 to 44. Our bodies right now are corruptible, but at the rapture, they're going to be raised in incorruption. Why? Because our bodies are wicked. Our bodies are sinful. Our bodies are prone to wickedness. We have two natures. That's something that the self-righteous, sinless perfection heretics can't handle. They cannot stand the thought of being a dirty, worthless sinner who's only saved by the grace and mercy of God. They hate that thought. Why? Because they're the self-righteous Pharisee of Luke chapter 18, verses 9 to 14. 9 to 14. They, th they think they're a good person, which is nothing more than just atheist philosophy. Atheist, Satanist, Luciferian. See, that's all, it's, all that sinless perfectionism is, is just Luciferianism. It's Satanism. It's atheism. That's all it is. Uh, but notice how it says it is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Well, what was he referring to? Turn to Isaiah chapter 25, verses 8 to 9. And he will he will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off, from all from off all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord has spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God; we have waited for, waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord; we have waited for him, and we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. So it's a prophecy, and obviously Isaiah twenty five verse eight does have two fulfillments. Okay. The fulfillment of death will swallow up, he, he will swallow up death in victory is fulfilled at the rapture. However, the Lord God will wipe away off all wipe away tears from awful faces. That is not fulfilled until the end of the millennial kingdom after the great white throne judgment in Revelation chapter twenty one, verse number four. That's where it's fulfilled. So it has two fulfillments. But he will swallow up death in victory. Why? Because when you're given an incorruptible body, you won't experience physical death anymore. When you're saved, right now, your soul and spirit is redeemed, but your flesh is still corruptible. It can still experience physical death. That's why when you die, your body is in the ground, and you soul, your soul and spirit go up to heaven. Next, turn to Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 to 21. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our holy and pure body. 
Oh no, it doesn't say that. Who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to even able even to subdue all things unto himself. Our bodies are vile, plain and simple. He's going to change our vile bodies and, let, and fashion it unto his glorious body. But that hasn't happened yet. Our bodies are not are not redeemed yet. They're, they cannot be sinless in this life right now. Anyone who says that is a liar. They're a false teacher. They're self-righteous. They're prideful. They think they're a good person just like any Luciferian atheist Satanist would. That's why I say, again, sinless perfectionism is atheist Luciferian Satanist philosophy. Uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 21 and 25. Last scripture there. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he hope for? Uh, why, doth, why doth he yet hope for? Sorry, for if we hope for that we see not, then do we wait? So then do we, with patience, wait for it? Okay, what is it? The rapture, the resurrection, when we get our incorruptible body, when our bodies get redeemed. Right now, our bodies are not redeemed yet. So, I wanted to show you guys that sinless perfectionism is not possible until our bodies are redeemed. Right now, our bodies are wicked, sinful, and corrupt. And anyone who says that we can be sinless in this life is a liar. They are essentially a self-righteous Luciferian. Sinless perfectionism is a Luciferian, Luciferian false doctrine. It's just Luciferianism. That's all it is. It's satanic. So don't be deceived by the sinless perfectionist liars. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.